Hello, welcome to Day Off Gaming. I am your host, Tellian, and we are playing some Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. And we are in a maze, and I've been trying to map it, and I think I got where we need to go. So this takes us back out. We do not want to do that. So we want to start here, which takes us all the way over here. And we don't want to take this one because that will take us basically back to the beginning. So we'll go to number eight, or at least that's what I have it marked as. I could have had better mapping I get that, but whoops! I was trying my best just to get this moving. And we want to go here. Actually, no. Well, let's see. If we follow this, I don't think I've ever gone to where I follow this. Hold on. Okay. That's the bridge we can't do. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so we want to go in this one. That will take us up above. Correct. And then we want to take, I believe, six. Well, I call it six. If we take that one, that takes us back basically to the beginning. And we don't want that. Okay. That brings us down here. We go in this, and it should pop us up here. Okay. I have three, as in three would be here. I think I have that in here multiple times. Let me look. Maybe not? Where does four t Oh, four. This one takes me here. Okay, so we want three. That brings us here. Where's this one? What's this one do? Ah! Probably back to the beginning. Yep. Okay. So we don't want that one. Okay. And this ladder takes us back to the one and two area. Yeah, it takes us back up here. Okay, so I feel like we need to come down here maybe somehow. But I don't have the ability to use any of my items. I feel like we need to cross this. But we can't even pick the ability to do so. Hmm. What about this area down here at number two? Okay, number one takes us here, two takes us there. Okay, let's get back to what I'm looking at here too. Okay. Seven, okay, we need to go to, because we can't take nine. Whoops. Yep. Let's double check my areas again. Okay, we want nine. Should brought, bring us up here. Yep, and then we want six. Yeah, see, I feel like we need to get across this. See if we need to come down these stairs. Okay. Let's see, 
four. As I said, takes us down here. So we need three. And we do not want to go in that one. We need to go this way. Can I walk this way? No, I cannot. Okay. Okay, and both of these take us to these bottom doors. Hmm. I figure we should be able to go across this. I would assume. Nope, don't go back. See, I think she's here because she knows it's the right way. Yeah, see, we definitely can't go there. Because there's that lava pool. Oh boy, he is back. Okay, I think I figured it out, okay. And I think we may be dead. Nope. Okay. can't go there. No, you can't. So there's a specific path we have to take. <sighs> Lovely. And that's going to burn that. Yep. Okay, this is gonna be fun! Yeah, I knew you were gonna destroy that. We at least know where we need to be, we just have to figure out the pattern that we have to do. Yeah, and that's gonna destroy that. Yep. Had a feeling. I can't go yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. Stop your whining. Stop your yapping. Okay. So we can't go. I hate these type of puzzles so bad where it's like, well, you can't do this, but you can't do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to work. I can't go there. I know. I wish we could go a little bit further than just one square at a time. I knew I screwed up immediately as soon as I told it where to go. Come here. If I go up here, I'll probably destroy that. Yep. There we go. Are you coming? Hold your horses. 
She'll walk right over it as if it's nothing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Work for her. <laughs> nice moves. Thanks. All right. That was a pain. That was a major pain. Just like the movie. Actually, the movie was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. Old, old movie. Just like me. I do believe we have found... The Colossus. Here's your shining city. Not what I expected, that's for sure. And the place is still humming, maintaining the air pressure for untold centuries. All right. I'm going to do a quick save here, just because I don't want to have to go back through everything. We're just going to call it episode 17, because that's the episode we're on. And let's see if we can do this without uh being massacred i guess is the best way to put it because some of these old games did have a you either do it do it the correct way or you die and i would rather uh do this correctly if i can all right use Then probably use the moonstone. And then use finally the wheel. The world stone. Okay, and let's look around here. Looks like it's hungry for our calcum. Okay. Is there more for us to look around here? Wait here, I'll be back. Okay, but hurry. <laughs> Just the way he's walking. I didn't mean to walk to back to the passage, but... Okay, so I don't think there's anything back there we Find need. Find anything? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think there's anything... I don't think there's anything that we need to do. What we got? The typical stuff. Darkness... New Moon, West Sea. That didn't do anything. Okay. Meaning we probably have to do something else. Nope. Come over here. Okay. Why are you now not letting me look at the frog? Looks like it's hungry for our calcum. Well, why are you not going all the way over now? That didn't do anything. Okay. Well, let's talk to Sophia real quick. See if she Sophia. Has any... What? You have any ideas? Hot enough for you? I'll be all right for a few minutes. <laughs> all right. Um. Yeah, I don't know why it's not letting me look at it like I used to. It's kind of weird. Is there anything we need to look at? Like, is there more places we can go to? Or is this it? Hmm. Can we go this way? Okay, so it takes us back up. So there is nothing that I can see.
out here. Okay. Yeah, at least it's letting me see the frog again. Okay. I feel like we will have to feed the frog to activate whatever this is. We need a combination. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. Surely this does this say anything that we missed? Gates of the Kingdom. Okay. Let's try the backwards real quick. So darkness would be down here. The new moon and West Sea. Still nothing. Okay. Is there any hidden? Had no horses. I them the metal. They clearly like the fire. This they had instead. They cast it into tiny beads. Okay. Say the wise man who first put in fruits in nature at times when the celestial spheres were well aligned. What the heck? I better not have missed something. I will be very upset. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of cheating here real quick. Um, I'm going to see what, it, what I need to do with that. Because I'm not seeing anything that's mentioning anything about that combination in the book. So, give me a moment. Okay, it's saying I'm supposed to find... I really don't hope I don't have to go back through all this, but I feel I'm going to have to, which is really annoying. I can't go there. The game, hence, is mentioning that there is supposed to be a hidden code on the door before we got to this area, I guess. It's like, what? It says, align the stones in a huge pattern that was engraved on the walls of the inner ring's door 
maze. Oh, wait, this? Maybe? Maybe this? Hold on. I was wondering what that was for. Is that what that is? So that looks like more of a rising sun with the new moon. Um, I don't know what that arrow is. So something with the arrow up, I guess. I don't know. We'll look at that. We'll look at and when we go back. But apparently this is supposed to tell you how to unlock it. Not exactly intuitional at all. At all. Well, what the? Mm. Anyway. Alrighty. Well, it saved us from wasting several episodes of me trying to figure out what I'm missing or why. And now we get to go through this. Which I absolutely hate. This, this was a pain trying to get across. I knew you were going to do that, you stupid game. Now we're going to wait like 20 minutes trying to get across this thing, aren't we? <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're not even going to bother with that. We might be able to start with something here. If I go here, that'll probably disappear. Okay, I think we have it. Okay, that was not as bad this time. With that, you almost need to make sure you have two pads each time uh, to move forward. Otherwise, you're gonna not be able to make it. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. I think. All right. So this, it looks like it's the right, the sun is here. The new moon, is that the new moon? Or was it the full moon? In the volcano. Nothing again. What's okay? Let's try the full moon with Spindle City. Yeah, maybe a volcano. That'd be the arrow up. That makes sense. Uh oh. Okay, something happened. What did you do now, Indy? I think I turned it on. <laughs> You see, Colonel, I told you Jones would be of some use to us. Oh, great. <laughs> I knew I smelled a rat. All I smell, Herr Jones, is your fear. Don't move. Mein Gott, how beautiful! Great. Congratulations, Dr. Jones. You've just handed the Third Reich its ultimate victory. It'll take more than a few orichalcum bombs to conquer the world, Uberman. Bombs? The gods don't need bombs. Take a look around. What do you think this astonishing machinery was used for?
<laughs> uh. Holiday barbecues? <laughs> Holiday barbecues? Wrong! As Plato himself well knew, this was a factory for manufacturing higher beings! While you've been wandering around, we've been stockpiling oricalcum. And now we have all we need! Are you ready for the greatest moment in history, Doctor? Yeah, the hideously deformed bones? Didn't you notice all those hideously deformed bones? Experiments gonna die! Unworthy slaves sacrificed in the name of knowledge! Progress has its price, you know! Maybe they weren't quite human to begin with. Inhuman or subhuman? They were destroyed by their physical imperfections when they based in the awesome power of this device. Fortunately, we suffer from no such imperfection. That was their belief. You really believe in this godhood business? Why not? As a god, I shall know everything, be everywhere, rule everyone! We both shall rule here, Doctor. Eh? Don't be silly, Colonel. You're not prepared for this. We shall see. <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> Tell you what, let's all go home and die in bed. We're scientists, <laughs> we can't live. We must test the machine. And you'll make a fine volunteer. No! What? If anyone's going to become a god, it must be me. You don't make me laugh. I am in charge of this operation, you spineless sausage. Activate the machine. <sighs> a test is a test. That is true. Plato suggested can be. Let's try that. Wait. What now, Charles? Tenfold error, yeah. What about Plato's tenfold error? What about it? Um, hey, give you size of 10 antlers. Um, most of Plato's numbers were way off target. Hmm, they were just a thought. Maybe right. They should divide by 10. Try 1B. One feed it is. <laughs> he was about the temple there, because he was always off by about ten. Hey, man, it's working. Whoa. Uh, okay, maybe not. A small bead for a small man, eh, Charles? Now it's your turn. Mine? <laughs> um No thanks. Godhood's for egomaniacs like you. Move! Unless you want my men to move you! That's better! Alright. What 
makes you think you can outdo the old kings. Science, my boy. We have it and say it didn't. Here goes. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, we need to stall somehow, I feel like. Let's talk this over. There's no time. How many beads should we use? <laughs> no beads, you crazy old man. Come now, Doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Please, Professor, don't make me do this. Look on the bright side. You'll be leaving your cares behind. <laughs> I got <t> I got <laughs> Yeah, I love that. Please, Professor, I've got classes to teach. Stop whining, man! Let's not take chances. How does 20 beads sound? No beads. Forget your stupid obsession. Really, Dr. John, <laughs> get a grip on yourself! Too late. Let's call the whole thing off. Show some spine, man. <laughs> How many beads should be you? No beads. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I don't want any beads because if he activates it, it's going to probably kill us. Um. You know, you'd make a much better god than me. That goes without saying, but there's no reason to turn up your nose at the chance to become one of the lesser immortals. Wait a minute, let's go home. Stop fighting, man! <laughs> How many beads should be used? None! Forget the beads. <laughs> really, Doctor, you must cooperate. I don't have to. We still got a chance if we leave now. Glory belongs to the fearless, John. Can I wait a minute? Let's go home. Stop fighting, man! <laughs> How many beads should be used? Yeah. Will you stop with the bead talk? <laughs> Really, Doctor, you must cooperate! We still got a chance if we leave now. Glory belongs to the fearless, John! So, am I... Wait a minute, let's go home. Stop fighting, man! So it's sort of like just a circle? How many beads should be used? No beads! Really, Doctor, you must cooperate! I feel like we're like in a... I feel like we're stuck in a loop. Um, let's try, I guess, what if it went the other way? I don't know. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? Uh, multiplying it might. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's not do that. Let's see. Dividing by 10 didn't work, but multiplying might. All right, John, you decide how many beads should be used.
A hundred bees. Shoot the works. Let's hope you've picked the correct amount. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. One hundred bees. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I think we just died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we one. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. I don't think that's exactly the act. Ex okay. We're going to have to redo this, unfortunately. Um, there has to be a better way of doing this. <laughs> but that was an interesting way of dying. All right. So let's... Uh, we should have everything we need. Uh, moonstone... We're gonna have to unfortunately go through all that conversation again. Uh, let's see, so we need, uh, what was it? The rising sun, the moon, volcano. Uh-oh. Yeah. As I said, I don't know if we're gonna be able to cut through a lot of this, so I do apologize I I if you need to skip through it. You see, Colonel? I told you Chorns would be of some use to us. Kerner, I knew I smelled a rat. All I smell, Herr Chorns, is your fear. Don't move. My God, how beautiful! Congratulations, Dr. Jones! You've just handed the Third Reich its ultimate victory! It'll take more than a few orichalcum bombs to conquer the world, a woman. Bombs? The gods don't need bombs. Take a look around. What do you think this astonishing machinery was used for? Hmm. <laughs> Central power Central station. Power station? <laughs> Wrong! As Plato himself well knew, this was a factory for manufacturing higher beings! While you've been wandering around, we've been stockpiling Oryx. So while this conversation is going that we've already we seen, uh, what I am going to do is when we get put on the pedestal, I'm going to save the game. And that way we can go through the options and hopefully uh, we can... Did you notice all those hideously uh, Figure out bones? the correct uh, gonna answer and win properly. In the name of knowledge, progress has because I feel like we are now know? at the end. Maybe they were all too human, like you. Stop human, you mean? They were destroyed by their physical imperfections and they based in the awesome power of this device. Unfortunately, we suffer from no such imperfection. You really believe in this godhood business? Why not? As a god, I shall know everything, be everywhere, rule everyone! We both shall rule here, Doctor. Eh? Don't be silly, Colonel. You're not prepared for this. We shall see. <laughs> Swell, send me a postcard. <laughs> Swell, send me a postcard from Valhalla. One more step and you'll get there first. <laughs> you can't leave now. We're just beginning our experiment. Don't let me stop you. And we can't begin without a guinea pig, can we? <laughs> If you'll kindly step onto the platform. No! What? If anyone's going to become a god, it must be me. 
me. You don't make me laugh. I am in charge of this operation, you spineless sausage. Activate the machine. <sighs> a test is a test. Great or suggestive can be. Let's try that. Wait. What now, Charles? So we know this is the answer. Tenfold error. What about Plato's tenfold error? What about it? Yeah, we said... Most of Plato's numbers were way off target. Hmm. Just a thought. Maybe right. They should divide by ten. Try one bead. One bead it is. Himmel, it's working. Nope. No! Well, that didn't work. A small bead for a small man, eh, Charles? Now it's your turn. Alright, I have discovered I can actually save. So we're actually going to put this as end. Uh, that way I know we're right where we're at. Just in case we die, we can just load and not have to worry about it. You don't need Aura Calcum, you need a miracle. <laughs> Nonsense! I'll start with Plato's number. Ten beads should do the trick. Now position yourself. March schnell! That's better. Here goes! Hang Wait. on a second. Yeah. Let's talk this over. There's no time. How many beads should be used? No beads, you crazy old man. <laughs> Come now, Doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? You can't buy Godhood for a couple of beads. Alright, Chorns, you decide. How many beads should be used? None! <laughs> No beads. Forget your stupid obsession. Really, Dr. John, get a grip on yourself. For your sake, I hope this doesn't work. Why not? Yeah, once I'm God, I'm sending you straight to hell. That's correct. Once I'm a God, I'm sending you straight to hell. I'm offering you immortality. Is that the thanks I get? <laughs> yeah. Start the machine. I dare you to use the bees. No, I like the idea. You ever hear the term angry god? Wait till you see me. Hang on. Perhaps I haven't thought this through. You want to go fast. You're scheming against me in spite of my generosity. Well, you won't get the upper hand that way. Stand aside, Jones. 98? 99? 100 beats! Prepare to feel my wrath! Yeah, we saw what happened last time. <laughs> yeah, but I think you basically explode and destroy all of Atlantis, so... Uh-oh. Indy! Follow me, Sophia! <laughs> Run!
Oh, oh right. a lot. Yeah, a lot of cracks. At least they're not. At least so far, they're not making me do all the work. In the sub. Woo! Big volcano. Well, so much for Atlantis. You know, a lot of my discoveries seem like tall tales even to me. At least there's some evidence this time. Then again, maybe not. What was that for? To ease the pain. <laughs> that was cool. We got to kind of see a bad ending and a good ending. That was that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. There are two other ways that you can do this. I took the team path, uh, but I think I mentioned this before, but there is one where you go by yourself, and that's the wits, but there's also another one where you go by yourself, but it, I guess there's more fighting involved. So if you want to learn the fighting system, that would be probably a good way for you to uh, play the game. The fighting system, in my opinion, is not very good, or at least not intuitive. Uh, but I've not really gone that way. As you've seen, like, I maybe fought two or three times in the entire game, and I just won by just clicking the button uh, multiple times, hoping that I would win. So, I would recommend this. If you like puzzle games, I would give it a try. Obviously, if you see my uh, playthrough, you know a lot of the game and a lot of the puzzles. But I still think it has a nice little charm to it. It has enough quirkiness uh, to be Indiana Jones and to be taken somewhat seriously. Uh, unlike the Monkey Island series that came out with uh, with Lucas, they uh, if you've ever played any of the Monkey Island games or you watched uh, any of the playthroughs I've done, you can definitely tell that it's much different, obviously. Uh, but... As I said, I really enjoyed this game. It was a lot of fun. Uh, one thing about these type of games, obviously, is the uh, credits don't last like 30 minutes like they used to uh, with the newer games. Uh, but I'm going to have to think about what I want to play next. Um, I've got a few ideas, but I'll have to, I'll have to look. Uh, there's some older games I want to play still, and there's some newer games I want to play, so there's a big mixture. And it makes it difficult. I have a long list of games to play, but I really do hope that you all continue watching my playthroughs and that you've enjoyed yourself. Even if you just watch a few minutes of it or you just are stuck yourself and need to have an idea of where to go or what to do, uh, I hope at least my walkthroughs have been enough or entertaining enough uh, to show you what you need. And as I said, I enjoyed the series. So I will see you all next time. Until then.